The nonprofit now can put together a video course format, give it to the schools for a price because that will be legal under the nonprofit. The nonprofit's allowed to make money. They, just so much of it has to be distributed back out. And the nonprofit is allowed to take in money to pay you, the person that doesn't own it, but you are an employee and a director of the nonprofit. There's another reason why the nonprofit is kind of like the perfect holding company, too. The government can never take anything owned by the nonprofit from you. I'm going to give you an example. And this is probably not the best example, but it's one that comes to mind. One of the directors in the company does something crazy. Let's just say it's me. I do something crazy. I get in a car accident. They could sue me, but they can't take any assets or transportation vehicles or anything that's directly owned by the nonprofit. They can only sue me or that company that's involved. So you can have properties, you can have vehicles, different products and services owned by the nonprofit that even if you screw up, the government can't take. So you're not getting taxed, they can't take anything. You're gonna get funding from everybody. This is why I said the corporate credit is gonna be massive. Your corporate credit might even be better than your business credit with a nonprofit. Business credit is like the credit you guarantee. Credit cards, lines of credit, stuff like that. Corporate credit is credit that even if, if they can't, it's like no recourse credit, meaning that it doesn't affect you personally. It's strictly under that entity or corporation. So because it's a nonprofit, people are going to give you lines of credit that's almost endless. Churches, literally you could be like, you go to churches and be like, I have a nonprofit and we want to give school kids, whatever, more food. You know what I mean? So you'll get massive amount of food. Um, AI tools. I believe just being a nonprofit and you tell people you want to promote your company, you're not a profit. I believe some of the AI tools will even be free for a certain amount of time. You know what I mean? So it's just endless stuff you got to be able to get for being a nonprofit. Now check with your tax professionals. I'm not a tax professional, but this is just information I'm learning over the research, over probably like about five years. Why would you want to be a part of this? Because it's about generational wealth. Even if you have a separate business that you're running, and let's say you got in some trouble and you're a bad gambler and all else defaulted, you still could get your paycheck from being an employee at the nonprofit. Say you lost your job, you lost your business. The nonprofit is always going to be there for generations. You can even have it where it passes down where one of your relatives can be on the board in the future. Now the key is we don't own it, but we can use and be employees of it for generations.